Welcome to the next lesson on phrasal verbs. This week, I will teach you how to say opt in and opt out and their definition. What does opt in mean or opt out? Let's say those again, opt in, opt out. Okay, past tense, opted. It is ed, regular verb. This is a regular verb to opt in, and past tense would be I opted in, opted. So it's ed because it ends in t. So I have the ed, id sound. So let's say that, opted in, opted out. One more time, opted in, opted out. Okay, you said them, but what do they mean, right? Okay, here we go. Opt-in means to enter my information or to agree to do something uh, with another group or organization. Very common right now on the internet. People will opt in, they'll give you their email. And um, you may give your, you might opt in to receive something from a company. So maybe you want to opt in to get discounts from uh, Amazon, or maybe you want to opt in to Target online, or maybe you opt in to your favorite um, blogger, or you want to opt in for your favorite English teacher, which you can click below and opt in for my emails. If you are not getting my emails, click the link below, opt in, and I will send you an email especially if you sign up, I will give you 70 phrasal verbs that you need to know with example sentences in a document. You'll get it in a document in your email and then you will be notified each week when I do these videos. You can opt in and you will get these videos each week. So please subscribe, you know, share and opt in uh, with your email. You can click the link below, get 70 words you need to know and you have opted in, opted in. Okay, so I'm using this for myself, but also for you to learn. Uh, I want you to see you succeed because I believe if you improve your English and you learn how we talk with these phrases every day, um, it will change your life because you will start to understand customer service words. If you work at a company in the United States, uh, the English that English speakers will bring to you you will then know how to answer because you've learned these phrasal verbs, which will which will help you. I believe will help you get a better job. So opt in for my emails, continue to practice and learn your English. Okay, that's opt in. Now you may opt in for something again that you really just wanted one time and maybe you don't want anymore. So maybe you opted in to get a discount coupon from a company or business online, but they send you emails like five times a day, you get an email from them and you say, wow, I really want this, some of this information, but right now I'm getting too many emails. So then you opt out, you opt out, which is the other phrasal verb. And past tense again is opted. I opted out, meaning I uh, stop getting the emails. Uh, another word you might say is subscribe or unsubscribe opt in, opt out, subscribe, unsubscribe. But to opt out is to not be a part of something, to not be a part of receiving that information or that group. So if you opt out of an email, you can also do that um, because you're like, hey, I just get too many emails. It's, it's your choice, you know. For me, I always opt into things and then I later say, oh, I only wanted maybe two of those, so then I opt out. But a lot of times I'll opt into something and maybe I get that email every day, but I still keep it because I'm like, oh, maybe once or twice a week, I really like what they have to tell me, or maybe they're producing good things that I need to know. Like I like marketing, so I like to opt in to people who teach on marketing. And so when I do that, uh, I learn more. Um, and then... Um, if they give me too much stuff, I opt out. But I like to opt in a lot to different things that help me grow as a person. What helps you grow as a person? Comment below, tell me what is something you opted in for? What have you opted in for online? A blog, maybe a website, a company, a business. What are some things you opted in for 
Also, comment below on what you opted out of. What is something you unsubscribed from? Comment below. I want to know. And uh, maybe you can tell others here in this English learning community uh, uh, who opted in where, who opted out of what. It'd be fun to know your story. Also, another thing with opt-in and opt-out is not just email subscri subscriptions, but opting in and opting out is also with um, groups. Maybe um, there's a local um, organization or event where you want to get together with other people in person and do things, maybe like a nonprofit organization where you volunteer to help the homeless. Maybe you volunteer to help give gifts to children who need something. Maybe you want to opt in and serve in some way in your community. So might, you might opt in and sign up. Another one, another phrasal verb related to this, very similar, would be sign up or sign out. So we could say sign up, sign out, opt in, opt out. You might sign up for something or opt in to help that group or organization. Or maybe you've been doing a lot for many years. You've been volunteering a lot and you're just like, I can't do it anymore. So you have to opt out of that event or something you committed to, but you can't anymore. You opt out. I just use a contraction. Can't means cannot. I can't do it anymore. So again, comment below. What is something you opted in for? And what is something you opted out of? I want to know. Comment below. Also, if you want to improve your English, get my Phrase It game online today. You can also get my eight-week online English class called English on the Street. Uh, click the links below to get that as well. But again, I really want to hear your story. Tell me what you opted in at, at and what you opted out of. Okay, I've repeated myself enough. I'll see you in the next lesson.